Hola, mi bishes. Tis I, Clovis, aka Manny Bish, over on Instagram. And uh, if you don't know who I am, well, welcome to the video. If you'd like to become a part of the Bish Squad, hit the subscribe button, like this video, ring the bell so you can be notified. I am the main Bish here, and y'all are my Bishes. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> let's get into this so i am using some of this um fill me in which is a ridge filler this is from lights locker we are doing a another polish manny today i know that i've been using um polish a little bit more frequently here in these last few weeks um you are still going to see some dip situations coming up i have pre-filmed like crazy for these um next few weeks and i am taking some of these nail polishes with me um i have them packed already and everything to go in my suitcase and they're going to be going with me for while i'm don't have any of the rest of my stuff i'll just have an easy way to do my nails so i love these nail polishes love 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 so we have this green and this is called weed and <laughs> i know i know it's we as in like we we you know o u i and then it's apostrophe d weed i thought that was so clever of kathleen to do that so i've done the um fill me in thing I actually don't know if it was the fill me in or the um nourishing I think it might have been the nourishing situation which by the way guys those two are my favorite natural nail combo at the moment is the fill me in first and then on top of that the nourishing because the nourishing has a little bit of blue speckles in it so if you're wearing your natural nails you've got protection and some sparkle I don't know it's just a great combo anywho um, so I'm going in with weed and I'm going to do two layers of this, possibly three. I'm sorry guys, it's been a few weeks since I've done this video and I did not look over this before I did the voiceover like I usually do, which I should have done. Um, so apologies, but we're doing this. And if you are watching this video, that means... If this video is uploaded, if it's live, I have it scheduled for the perfect time. And if you're watching this video, that means we are officially out of the army. My husband's termination date has come and we are out. So I have this scheduled to um, go live the day after. So we are one day out of the army and we are and my husband's new job will start tomorrow september 11th so we are like right in that perfect thing that feels so weird to say tomorrow when i'm actually like doing this voiceover on the 18th of august so that's like a weird like time gap but anywho it's, that's a weird thing to say uh it going into the future hello future bishes and future me anywho um yeah so we hopefully by this time have found a house <laughs> and are starting to get settled in we don't have any of our stuff yet because none of it will be here until october so wish us luck on that we are bare bones in it out of our uh, suitcases and an air mattress so yeah yes Anywho, I am making this um, camo mini. So I'm taking my dotting tool. I have some of the nail polish. This is 52 Chevy on my little palette here. And I'm going in just creating random little lines. And I don't, I could have done this with dip, like in gel, no problem. But I know some of y'all do still use nail polish and sometimes it is like nice to see that you can still do designs with nail polish so 
I figured why not do it with nail polish? I had the perfect colors for it, so why not? So for this one, I am mixing um, weed and the 52 Chevy and we, I just needed like an in-between color for them and I am not caring if these overlap. So I went in first with the 52 Chevy. We just placed three to four random blobs on my nails and then we're going in with this mixture of the two colors and we're just randomly placing these blobs and I say blobs because it's like you don't want it to be perfect circles or perfect lines or anything like that. You want it random and sporadic that's going to make it look more natural. So that's why it's blobs. And then I'm going in with some white and again I'm not caring if these like layer over each other. I am having to put more polish on my palette here and there because it does dry out. It's polish. It's not gel. It is going to dry. So when you start to see that it's getting like a little sticky, just go ahead and add more polish and continue on. Um, that is really the only thing I have to say like concerning the polish is that you don't have just like a free like time you are on a little bit of a restraint when it comes to polish just because of the dry time. Um, so it's going to dry on your palette um, within like a minute or two. So if you work more on the slower side, you're going to need to just kind of refresh that polish every few minutes. If you work on the faster side, you might only need to do it once or if it's an easy design, you know, maybe one time. So. And then I'm going in with this black as my final like little touch. And again, don't care. It can layer over anything. Um, I will say these polishes dry super fast. So once I was like going through each of the fingers with the same color, once I was done with that color, the original finger was like already dry enough to go in with the second color and so on and so forth so I really didn't have any problem with like the colors bleeding together or anything because they were still wet it wasn't an issue um so this black is my final touch I wish if I would have like been thinking in the moment I didn't think about it until after I was done with the mani completely um I would have gone back in with some just like just the weed color that base green that we did originally and I would have added more of that in there in places just to make sure it was like still like pronounced and like coming through I mean it still looks good you can still tell that it's the base color but I would have done that like added a little bit more of that in there I did go in one more time with a little bit of the 52 Chevy just to bring out some more of that lighter green. And after all of that has dried, we are going in with this Totally Jelly. And they just restocked this and I had to pick it up as soon as I seen it was restocked. And of course I ordered all the other colors that I wanted to. Um, so this nail polish, this is the top coat. It's nail polish but it's called totally jelly because it's like supposed to be hard and protective like a gel. I will say I freaking love this polish. I'm going to insert a photo at the end of this video, how I do like the end of the photos. I'm also going to do a like wear test situation and you guys are gonna see the nail growth that I had with no chips in this Manny and I like this is with layers of nail polish on because we did the design this top coat is amazing I am not easy on my fingers I clean all the time I don't wear gloves I'm doing dishes I'm showering you know all the things and I don't wear gloves when I do dishes and I know that's like a major no-no but it is amazing and on top of that I am going in with this matte um, polish from, um, also Light Slacker. This one is called, um, She's All Matte, or, she's all matte. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's She's All Matte. 
and um also no chips on the matte polish over the um jelly top coat like all of this just it made for the perfect mani i wore this mani for over a week and i did not have any chips again i'm going to insert the wear situation um so yeah this is my camo mani this is i didn't i just wanted to do a camo mani and then after i did it i was like ooh, because i was pre-filming i was like i know when i'm gonna upload this i'm gonna upload this after my husband gets out of the army after it's like officially said and done so he's already on leave right now august 18th but he will officially be done and out not active duty um yesterday so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch y'all in the next one bye bitches